Uh, hi students, I welcome you all to online IP classes. Today in this tutorial we will discuss the SQL commands. In the last tutorial we have seen how to create a database, how to open a MySQL and how to create a database and how to create a demo table. In this tutorial we will start only a practical portion of SQL statements. We will see how to create a database again, how to create a table and how to insert data into a table and how to select the data from the tables. Let's begin with it. This is MySQL and I'll write a password here, enter. Then we will create a database again, create, create database. The name of the database, for example, I'll keep the name of the database as um, uh, school info. School info is the name of the database. Then I have to use the database, right? First, I'll see how many databases are there in MySQL. In order to view the total number of the databases in MySQL, the command used for that is show database. Show data. Show databases. Semicolon. Enter. All the databases that are there in the MySQL are displayed here, right? But what data which one we will use? We will use school info. So use school info. This is our database. Just may hum as a calm karenge, jatna bhi data hum banayenge, sara ka sara isi mein store hega. School info mein database changed. Now, the second step is to create the table, to create the table in order to store the data into the particular table. For in, in a database, we have to create format, um, format table. We have to create a table. C R E A T E, create a table. And the name of the table. For example, let us take it as student and the first uh, the first column uh, heading we want to add is uh, admission number and this is an integer we will mention it as int int and the second column is uh, name and the name is a varchar number of items is for example 15 the name of the student right. And the third is uh, class, class and again class is a varchar and let it be 10, 10 is just long. And the third one we want to uh, add is uh, marks, marks is again an integer number. So bracket close, semicolon, enter, query, row effected means the table has been created now we will see we will see the structure of the table in order to see the structure of the table in order to view the structure of the table for that we use a command as desc describe describe table konse table ko humne describe karna hai describe student we will describe student and see what or what is its structure Describe student mm, that this is the structure of this uh, this table and uh, it happens with the help of a command SQL command known as DSC space and the name of that particular table whose structure we want to view. In this, there are the four fields. Four fields means four columns. One is admission number, name, class, and marks. And the type of each field is admission number. Type is in name is where care class is. Uh, where care uh, again marks is integer and the rest of the details like null key default extra we will explore in the upcoming uh, tutorials in upcoming topics what does this mean now we want to insert a data we want to insert a data we want to store a data in a student table so in order to insert a data into a table we need to use a command insert insert into what we want to insert the data into a student table, insert into student. But what we want to insert, we want to insert the values. We want to insert the values into the student table. So in order to uh, insert the values, the first value, the first value is the first field's 
uh, name is admission number and the admission number is an integer type so it is mandatory we will only uh, enter a numerical data here because it is an integer type what is an integer type we know that for example it is uh, like 1019 is an admission number of the first student and the name of that student is Shah and the third one is because uh, name is a varchar so I mentioned a name Shah in double quotes class is a varchar again so I have to mention it in double quotes again for example class is 10 or class is 11th comma and then the marks marks for example his code is 97 then bracket close semicolon enter one row affected that is one data has been inserted one row has been inserted on that table into a student to, uh, table now let us insert another value into it 1020 zero, zero. for example it is rahul and he is in class 10 he scored marks as 99 enter one row effect second row has been inserted again we will use the same command insert into insert into right by up by by up arrow recent command get displayed at the command prompt it is 1021 row number and the name is sahil he is from class 10th and he scored 91 we will insert 5 10 rows right uh, row is uh, 22 and is for example but and he is from class 11th he scored marks as 92 right now that is rashid he has row number uh, admission number as 23 and he is from class 10th he scored 84 right again we will insert another row it is uh, 1024 by this you can insert by the insertion command you can insert as many rows as you want by this we have insert the number of rows into a table now we want to display we want to display the table we want to select what data is is, uh, is there in the student table in order to select the data in order to show the data in order to display the data for that we use select command s e l e c t select star star means all the number of fields all the number of fields fields means all columns that are then in the student table select a star from where student select a star from the student means select every column from the student whatever data is there in the student table just like that every data should get displayed right now i want to select particular fields i want to select the for example i want to select uh, select a name only i want to select a name name comma and then marks i have to mention the uh, column name is here if i write here star means all the columns now if i mention particular column names only those column columns with the with their values gets displayed from a student now only the two fields in the first we have mentioned uh, we have written there as star means all the columns all the fields in this uh, command we just select name and marks columns only from the student table that's why sha marks rahul gets displayed hope you have understood this thank you now implement the same in your laptops thank you